Hello, hello everyone. This is Light Shadow, and today we're gonna be doing another slime fun guide. So this time we're doing another beginner's guide. So we're going to be going into basic machines as I just did, and we're gonna be going over the armor forge. So as you can see, it's another multi-block, which we've gone over in our videos, but just in case this is the first one you're tuning into, I'll go over it again. So a multi-block is not an actual thing you grab or anything, it's what it just said there. We need a dispenser that's facing up, we have a dispenser. You need an anvil, you need an anvil. And you'll place them like so. As you can see, I wanted it facing up, so we'll place it like that. And we'll place that anvil there. And that is the armor forge. Now, we'll be going over a couple things you can make with it, namely the thing I'm currently wearing, actually. The full hazmat suit. Because you're gonna want that later on in life. So, let's go straight into it. So, the armor forge helps you, well, forge armor. As you can see, we have various different types, like Damascus steel, cactus, for whatever reason, chain mail, gilded iron, the hazmat suit, and on the server, the moose, hide, helmet, and so on and so forth. There's also magical armor, but that's a whole other thing we'll go into later. So this time we'll be going over hazmat suit. So we'll be starting with the scuba helmet, as you can see on the top row here. So we'll leave this bottom row out completely for the helmet. For or the number pad, we have orange wool on numbers 7, 8, and 9. Then we have black wool on numbers 4 and 6. And then on number 5, we have a glass pane. So we'll be creating this pattern right in here, as you can see. So when you have that full pattern in there that says is required, you will right-click, just like that, on your anvil. And it takes it just a moment, but like so, you have a scuba helmet. And then of course, you want to get all the other pieces, like so. So you'll be making your hazmat suit, which will be the chest piece like this. So that has orange wool on slots 7, 4, 5, 6, and 9. And it has black wool on slots 1, 2, and 3. And again, right click. And look at that! Now a nice thing to notice for the hazmat suit on that now as a side little thing is you need exactly 12 orange wool and exactly 12 black wool and one glass pane to make the entire thing. So just for a preparation thing in case you're following along. And then for the hazmat suit leggings, you have black wool on numbers 7, 8, and 9. And then you have orange wool on numbers 4, 6, 1, and 3. So we'll just put that in here like so. As you can see. And again, right click. And you can hear that background noise, that's just what it does when it's creating the item. It's a good way to keep track of it if you're using your in-game sounds. And of course, we want our rubber boots, which will have black wool on spots 4, 6, 1, and 3. And let's see. And bam! And that gives you the complete hazmat suit, which lets you handle things like uranium and such. But the armor forge makes you all that, it can make you so many different things, and it's just so useful to me. I mean, it's even how you get those beautiful slime boots that gets you no fall damage. That's just glorious. Glorious, I say. Farmer shoes prevents you from trampling on your crops. And boots on the star humper. No fall damage, and you get to smack other people and mobs with your fall damage. And it's just awesome, and you can make all these with this simple little structure right here. But yeah, thank you for watching the video, everybody. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Also, check out Wondercraft, because Wondercraft is amazing. That's where I have this whole thing right here, which I'm doing all the guides at. It's just an awesome server. So, yeah. 
This is Light Shadow, signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.